Since we've been using the key of C major, let's concentrate on that. Here is our C note. We know in that key that chord number four is F major and chord number five is G major. And anywhere on the circle, if you look at one note and look at the chord on either side of it, those two chords are the major chords in that key, no matter what it might be. So in the key of C, C major, F major, and G major are the major chords. Likewise, if we go to the key of G, here is G. We know that we go one step anticlockwise, C major, and one step clockwise, D major. So in the key of G, G major, C major, and D major are the major chords in that key. Likewise, let's go right the way down to E here. Let's say we're in the key of E. What are the major chords in that key? We take one step this way and we get to A major. We take one step this way and we get to B major. So in the key of E, A major, E major and B major are the major chords. A is what we call the four chord. E is the one or the root chord and B is the five. And that remains the same all the way around the circle. Even if we get onto this side, let's say that we're going to look at the key of A flat. One step this way means that we know that E flat major is a chord in that key. And one step this way means that we know that D flat major is a chord in that key. This is very helpful to point out what the relevant major chords in the key might be. Are there any other connections that we can make? Yes, there are. If we take again the key of C major, let's go round the key of C major until we get to the spot that's one, two, three away and one, two, three, four away. In the key of C major, A minor is the two chord and E minor is the three chord. And this is also the same as we go further around the circle. So the next two chords along going clockwise, once we get the number four and the number five in that circle, they are the minor chords in the key of C major. So if you want to find the minor chords in the key of G major, we go through D and through A, and we get to E and B. E minor is the two chord, and B minor. This is a critical step that we can use to figure out the chords that we're dealing with in any key. Let's just review those. One of these things that people talk about is the Nashville numbering system. That's our next video.